Hi kindergartners, welcome to the reading room where anything can happen. The UPS man could come, the doorbell could ring, the phone could ring, the dog could walk by and visit, or you might hear a door shutting in the back of my house. But just like at school, we just keep on reading, don't we boys and girls? So today's book that we're going to read is called, Where is Tabby Cat? And the words that we're going to start with first are the keywords that are in the story that and they're used a lot, okay? So the first key word in this story is in the title, and it's a question word. And do you remember my board at school? I have question words on the back of my board. This is one of the question words, and this says where. So you might see this word in your story today, where, okay? Another key word in this story looks like this. All right, so let's think about what we know about this story. You should see the Y at the end. Do you remember what Y at the end says? It says E. I'm imagining you shouting that to me right now. And then we have two somethings together. So what are those somethings? Some of you are probably saying D, and some of you are probably saying B because we still get those confused sometimes, don't we? So we better do our test. We're gonna drive down the reading road. Drive, 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 crash. What did I crash into? Drive, 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 crash. What did I crash into? So I crashed into the baseball bat, didn't I? So if it's a baseball bat, that means it makes the buff sound, doesn't it? So these two letters make the buff sound together. And then an A says A, ah, and the T says tap, doesn't it? All right, now we're gonna drive down the reading road. We already practiced using our eyes by eyes and we found everything we know. So it's very important to always drive this way down the reading road and we're gonna see it. Here we go. T, A, B, E, T, A, B, Tabby. So Tabby is part of the cat's name. He's called Tabby Cat. And cameraman, can you see the word cat okay? Because it's down at the bottom. Okay, so we have the word where and we have Tabby Cat. And we're gonna say tabby cat a lot in this story. It's on a lot of the pages, okay? And then we have another character in the story. So let's look inside this word to see what we know about. All right, what do you see inside this word? You should see the Y at the end. So what does Y at the end say? It says E, that's why it's in our toolbox because it could be in a hundred other words. So do we wanna just learn this word? Or do we want to be able to read 100 words? Of course we want to be able to read 100 words, don't we, boys and girls? So Y at the end says E, and then we have two consonants, just like we did in the last word, and this consonant says M. Mm. And what's funny about this is I always tell you that this should remind you of a candy, M&Ms, and look right here, M and M's are M, mm, mm, good, aren't they? So this Lego's gonna say M, mm, and then we have an A, and then we have a s, okay? So we're gonna drive down the reading road with your finger and we're gonna sing it. Here we go, ready? Sammy, Sammy. Make sure you're singing the sounds good because it's putting the word together in your brain. Sammy, say it fast, Sammy. So Sammy is one of the other characters in our story, all right? And then we have this sight word, which hopefully you remember. What is this sight word? Remember, we can turn these into eyeballs. And that gives you a clue of what this word says because we use our eyes to look at something. But in this story, they add another Lego to the end. So this says looks looks and then we have this sight word inside the story the okay all right so those are the keywords that will be on lots of pages so if you get stuck on the story you can watch this video again and that should help you remember the story right this word was in our last book that we did okay so what do you see you should see the er you should see un if you get stuck on this word, this letter, drive down the reading road. Drive, 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 crash. What did I crash into? Dinosaur tummy. So this one says duh, doesn't it? 
All right, so let's sing this word. And, er, under. All right, so in this story, something's gonna go under something too, right? Now, here's a kind of a tricky word because we get our B's and D's confused. So if we drive down the reading road, actually, let me do it this way. So this story kind of repeats a lot, boys and girls. The character is going to go under a whole bunch of things. So let's think about what kinds of things he could go under. The first thing he's gonna go under is this. So if we drive down the reading road, here's the baseball bat. So this is a B. This is big mouth, so this says E. Eh. And this is the dinosaur tummy, so that says D. So let's sing it. B, E, D. Bed. Cameraman, am I holding the board okay? All right. So he's going to go under the bed, right? Now, let's look inside this word. Do you know anything inside this word? Let me show you the bed picture, okay? So, here's the picture where he goes under the bed. Cameraman, can you see the picture, okay? All right, so let's see what it's gonna go under next. Inside this word, you always look at the word first and see if you can get it without the clues from the pictures, okay? This one's kind of a tricky word, but we know that it starts with a CH, and CH is the hard one, ch, ch, like a choo-choo train, remember? So he's gonna go under something that starts with a ch, ch, ch. So let's look at the picture and see what he goes under that starts with a ch. He goes under the chair. Are we okay? I'm going to be doing this on every one. So as long as you can see the board and the book, we're good. Okay. All right. Cause they might have to use the picture clues for some of these words. So he's going to go under the bed. He's going to go under the chair and now he's going to go under this. So this word starts with a S. So let's look at the picture and see what he's going under. That starts with a S. Okay, this is what the picture looks like. And that kind of looks like a couch, doesn't it, boys and girls? But we can't say couch, because if we wanted it to say couch, this would be a cup, and this is not a cup. So I'm gonna tell you that this O says O, and this F says F, and this A says U, uh, okay? So another word for a couch is a sofa. Sofa. So he's going under the sofa. So make sure when you read this book, you don't say couch because this story does not say he's going under a couch. He's going under the sofa. So he's going under the bed. He's going under the chair. He's going under the sofa. All right, let's see what else he's going under. All right, let's look at this word. What's the first letter? Is it a B or a D? If you do your check, you crash into the dinosaur tummy. So this is a D, isn't it? Then we have big mouth, that says E. Eh. And then we have a S, and then we have a K, right? So let's sing it. D, E, S, K. D, E, S, K, desk. So he's going under the desk, isn't he? And then, oops, I don't know if I should do the right page or not. Did I show on the right page? Here's the desk, okay? Got mixed up because I have the book folded. All right, and I think he's done going under things. So let's get rid of the word under because the next thing he doesn't go under, he hears something. So let's look inside this word and see what you see. Do you see the O-W? Remember, that's part in our toolbox. O-W says, ow. If we take the ow off, what do we have left? This is a sight word that you should know. This is me. So if you know me and you know ow and you snap it together, it says, me, ow. He heard a meow. So that gave him a clue of where else to look. He didn't look under something, he had to look in something. 
So let's see what we know about this word and then we'll look at the picture for a clue, okay? So DR says dr and ER says er. So it starts with dr and it ends with er. And this part's kind of tricky. So what is he looking in that starts with dr? Can you tell that's a dresser? And he had to pull out the, here's another picture of it, drawer. He had to look in the drawer. And what do you think he found in the drawer? In the drawer, he found a, there's another key word you should know. But there is something you should know about this word, boys and girls. So this part says, sir, the magic key bumps this eye on the head. So this eye is gonna say, I, prize. So this one says, surprise. Surprise. He found a surprise. And then you have this word in your story. This one is called a contraction because you take two little words and you squish it together. So we could say it is, or we can make it look like this, and it says it's. So it's a surprise in this story, isn't it? All right, so that's all the keywords that we have in the story and all the I spy words that we have in the story and some of the words you might only be able to look at the beginning sound and then you use the picture to figure out the word, okay? So that's the end of video number one, part one of our reading lesson. And that's practicing your I spy eyes and your sight words for where is Tabby Cat. Make sure you look for video number two so you can look inside the story and read it all by yourself and practice your eyes by eyes all by yourself. So bye-bye for now. See you in video number two.